been a minute. Welcome back. It's been a minute for me anyway, or I guess for you guys too, since it's been a couple of days since you last saw a video. But I've done some stuff between the last episode and this one. Namely, I uh, got another level in carpentry. I leveled up Nimble a little bit by literally walking down the stairs like this while going to get the luggage out of the taxi. The thing. I also read the carpentry, farming, and electrical books to gain some experience in that since I was taking stuff apart in order to build that crate there. And this crate here, you might notice all the gun cases are gone. Well, that's because everything has been moved over to here. So I've sort of sorted the ammunition as best I could. Um, <laughs> it gets really heavy. This is the shotgun shells and the, the uh, ammunition that doesn't have a period after it. Then we have the 45, the 44 mag uh, ammunition. And then we have, of course, this ammunition because, hold on, we have this ammunition because there was a lot of the uh, stuff under 0.4. So I just kind of threw it all into the same one. Then we have all of our magazines here. Uh, so we don't have too many. We have so many Desert Eagle magazines. God dang. Uh, but then we have all of our long rifles and shotguns, which we have a lot of shotguns, folks. A lot of shotguns. Then we have our pistol box here. We have a lot of deagles. That's a thing we have a lot of. Uh, and then we have down here our kind of uh, gun cleaning kits and our shell straps and stuff like that, which uh, is, is neat. So we can put extra stuff on here. Uh, and then we have uh, extra rifles because the other one was getting full. And then we have the last one, which is all our gun cases. Uh, while I was out and about uh, up on our floor here, if we can, if we leave, there we go. So I, uh, I basically took apart all this stuff that wasn't done, and in one of the cabinets I found this duffel bag. So we upgraded from our previous thing to this duffel bag also brought in all the food and, and stuff like that that we had just sitting around. Um, let's see. Checking the rain collector barrel. We're going to need four and four, four. Right, that's how that goes. I forgot. All right, so I know there was some nails over here on this thing, which I'll grab some of. And I stocked up some spare planks uh, in here. I also want to grab a pipe wrench. So we can plumb a sink here in a moment. All right, first of all, let's grab our nails. And we'll go ahead and grab our planks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually 12. All right. Then we scroll down to here, where we're going to take half, which is seven, and then another half is that, and then one, which would be 12. There we go. Right on. All right, so let's head upstairs so we can add some more water collectors here. Um, One moment. I want to see if there's a difference between the barrels. And there is! The the actual barrels can hold a total of 400 units of water, whereas the um, crates can only hold 160. So, I'll probably take care of that. So let's see. Um, I fucked up. Hold on. I want to put one of the barrels uh, to where the sink can get stuff. So if I go walk to and do... We have one here. Or I guess it would be... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's say eight from the other one that we currently have. Oh, 
All right. So carpentry, furniture, collector barrel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here. There. Okay, and then do I have any more? No, it's all been used. All right. And then the other reason I want to come up here is because I noticed when I was, uh, <clears throat> well, I'll get to that in a moment, but uh, I noticed that we have some seed bearing cabbages here. Go ahead and take some of these. This is also why I read that farming book, because we uh, were ready to do this. Alright, so now I just need to grab more seeds, grab another trowel, and I can plow some more. We also should, at some point, grab more soil so that we can actually uh, get more stuff up here. But, our first crop, take a bite. L to the yeah, friends. L to the yeah. And this is why we have our fridge now. Because with the fridge, we can go crazy. We can just put this stuff in the fridge. Um, specifically the freezer is where I'm going to put all this just to really keep it nice and nice and good for a while. And we can come over, come over here. And we can plumb this sink. And can I plumb the fancy toilet? I can. can I plumb the bathtub. Oh, no, not yet. Darn. That would have held a lot of water. All right, anyway. Go ahead and put away our nails and seeds and our pipe wrench here. Um, actually, let's go ahead and put these in packets. Just for... Uh, reasons. Probably not a specific reason or anything, but... Do that, and then we need the pipe wrench, which we're not going to equip. I'm not carrying around a weapon, I didn't want to... have a weapon on me while we're doing things. All right, and the last little bit of news that I have for you all is I kind of died. And I was not happy about it. <clears throat> I'll show you where I died specifically. And uh, so I was, you know, just removing stuff up here, as one does. And I, I apparently hit E next to this window. And I climbed through it. And I fell four stories and died. Yeah, wasn't great. So, so, I was of, of course upset, but you might be asking yourself, we're still Jimothy though, right? Yeah. Well, I found a way that you can respawn your character with all the same stats and stuff and their equipment. Um, I used it because that was a bullshit death. I should not have jumped out the window. My guy was stupid, and I do not know why he did that. So I did it for that one time and one time only. Um, so if we do die again, instead of the uh, new character, main menu, quit game options, we're gonna have a respawn instead of a quit game. So uh, that, that'll respawn us with our current stats, current equipment, all that, but we're not gonna necessarily use that, okay? That's uh, just like bullshit preparedness, right? Uh, I also had to download a like game save configuration change thing so that I could revive my character to the point where he would die when I loaded in so that I could hit the respawn button because he was already dead at the point. So I, it, it was a mess. Uh, anyway, what are we doing today? Well, gee, that's a good question. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So, uh, I think what we'll do... Let's see what weapons I have, first of all. I know I have, like, a bunch of shotguns and stuff, but... Let's take this baseball bat. Okay. And how's my fatigue? Uh, I think I'm okay. I shouldn't have to rest right away. Anyway... Wait, why is farming still have those arrows? I thought it ended there. Whatever. Anyway, I think what we'll do, because if you remember where we died last time, it was just up in, like, 
It was just right. Where am I at? It was just right here. Out on the open. Right. I figure if we can get back over there, I can get my stuff and at least have a little bit. I think we had a decent backpack of that guy. Remember? Maybe I'm misremembering. I also, that was some of the wood that I collected upstairs. I. Okay, I, I didn't mean to do that. I rebuilt the walls and stuff down here. Uh, and also uh, built this wall. Not that wall. This wall up a little bit further, so. Uh, just that little hole there. I didn't have much else. Also, when I came out here the first time looking for the taxi, I was like, where the fuck did the taxi go? What the hell? Did it despawn? This is so weird. Where's the taxi? You know? I even ran down, like, here, and I was like, I still don't fucking see the taxi. What happened? I was, like, so upset, because that was before I started to unload the ammunition, right? But, uh, then, oh yeah, you go right here, and it's just, you got it. Come on. There we go. I just want to move the taxi out of the way here. Uh, as you can see, I already collected everything out of it. Yeah, we have a, a bunch of ammunition now, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and park this with the rest of our stuff. I don't like how you go slower on the ground there. Ah, <gasps> a backpack. I should grab that, to be honest. So we can drive this red car and this uh, taxi now. I'm gonna put the key in the ignition here, to be honest. I don't want to... Uh... I don't know if having the key in the ignition like that is going to wear down the battery at all. That is 1560, and the duffel bag is... Where's the duffel bag? 1560. Okay, so my duffel bag's better, but it's there just in case I needed it. I don't got a key for that, unfortunately. I can't move any other cars down there because my one guy is still dead. Um, that's unfortunate. But yeah, we're going to uh, try to get our previous body back. Let's see how well that goes. Um, at least one of them because there's like, what, three or four up there now? Ugh. Just remember our golden rule from now on. Any more than five and we flee. All right. We're just going to get the hell out of there. I do not care enough about killing hordes of zombies right now. If we need to clear them, we have like, what, 24 boxes of shotgun ammo that we can use. So I think what we're going to do is just try to kill small random zombies for now. And then in the event that we, uh, I think there's my guy. In the event that we are able to, we can... Take some other motherfuckers down, right? Right, all the zombies we've killed previously just chilling over there. Okay. Well, that's a little horde over there, don't you think? Alright, let's pick up our guy's stuff. More cigarettes. I'm gonna grab his keys. Grab your matches. Metal bar, of course. And on the ground here, we have a baseball bat. I'll grab that. Okay. Anything else I want to grab from him? Oh, I can actually wear this thing. It's better than mine. I'll take it then. Cool. Yeah, I think that's everything. I could take the other stuff off of him, but it's in pretty bad condition, so I'll pass. I forgot I had a saw on me. Let's pack this stuff away. Man. Yeah, I don't I seriously do not know what happened that last time we came out here and like got our butts touched. It wasn't great. But we did have all these keys here. Unfortunately I don't think there's anything that we specifically can use. So Goes down here, check this door. It actually opens. Does it have a key in it? It does have a key in it. 
It's got gas. Got our new car, guys. Um, if nothing else, I just want to move this out of the way. But, what we can also do... I was going to say kill that horde of zombies, but it looks like they just wandered over there, so never mind. But we could still do it. But God, look at all the fucking zombies that are just around here. One second. I want to check, make sure um, zombie respawn hours is still zero. Perfect. I'm zero, spawning is disabled. Perfect. Zombies cannot spawn. I'm good with that. Oops. 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 Uh, of course, there's a fucking overturned vehicle here. I'm turning here anyway, so that's good. We have some fuel, and we're in good condition. I wonder if maybe I can go down here, do a loop, and see if I can kill any zombies that are just kind of straggling off from the group here. Hello there. Out of the way! Old person coming through on a Sunday driver, don't you know? Gotta be careful not to screw this up. Yeah, this might not be the best idea. We aren't getting enough speed to really do much damage here, so let's just go ahead and park this in our parking lot. And we'll just have a spare car if we ever need it. Oh shit, where did they come from? Are you kidding me? No, come on. Why can't I go forward? One second. I, I need to look something up. Just in case. <laughs> okay. All of a sudden, I'm faster now. What the hell? Or whatever. I I wanted to figure out how to change seats, because I know I've seen people do it before. I just do not remember uh, how to do it. Or I guess I never learned how to do it, first of all. But, uh... Yeah, now that we know how to do that in the future, if our driver's side door ever gets blocked like that, we can, uh... Do that. Okay. I don't think I can drive any of these. I was going to check the vehicles real quick. I know I don't have the van key. Do I have this key? Nope. Do I have this key? No. Sucks. Okay. Right, I'm just going to stash the stuff I have in the duffel bag upstairs. And we'll consider our next move from there. It's only been 20 minutes here. I might get a shotgun and just go... go Rambo-style on these assholes up there. Okay. What did we have? We had a saw, a bag, a metal bar. Toss that stuff in there. Scroll down to our stuff here. Throw the bag in there. We'll put the duffel bag in there too. All right. Um, baseball bat's in pretty good condition. Maybe I'll grab one more just to just to have it. Um, we can do that. If 
I feel like we should be getting tired here pretty quick. Let's have some oats. I want to close that window because it's very bright. It would white background stuff. All right. Um. Well, uh, right now, let's see. If I grab a shotgun, grab one. If I equip it in both hands, how many shotgun shells can I hold? Open one box. Open another box. Reload. Is, was that all? I could just I could just put one more in there. Yeah. Okay. Um. However. How do I use these? What if I unequip it? Let me get. Can be mount. Be mount on all long guns. Give me one of these. What do you think's better, the shell holder or the shell straps? Let me grab that. If I do uh, attach nylon string, and then can I go? Upgrade shell holder. And then I can go equip in both hands again. Okay, so it doesn't increase the capacity, but maybe it increases the reload speed when I do that. I can put it on my back, though. Alright, anyway, I think I can get one more box of shotgun shells out of this. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Forgot, I don't have 20, I have 18. There we go. Oh, exactly 18, huh? Now that is good. Yeah, barely have a little one. I'm 18 out of 18. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll just go ahead and put one of these in the container there. That should drop me down a little bit. Perfect. Go ahead and eat some chips for the hell of it. All right. Remember, we got five shots and we got to reload. All right. Let's get freaky deaky on them, boys. All right. It's time to once again die because we suck or something. Else. Okay. I really need to get some keys to get uh rid of that stuff. Oh hey, look, it's the the party posse or whatever. All these yahoos. Make sure I got some beta blockers. Oh. Zombies to see a little seem a little confused. Oh, hey there. I forgot I already fired five shots.
quick. Got him. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go kick some zombie ass, ladies and gentlemen. looking on aiming and reloading. Oh, aiming is doing hella good. Uh, let's kill this group next. La 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 You can definitely see like the uh, the range looks like it's higher. I need four. Let me hit all four of you at once. Come on. Ah, darn it. Killing just like one or two zombies at a time with a shotgun really kind of sucks. But I don't want to do that. Since these guys are only a couple here. I might as well just take it out with a baseball bat rather than wasting my time with them here. Le bonk. All right. Get our shotgun back out. Also, uh, no, the shotgun only holds four until you rack it. And then it can hold more. So uh, we have to be careful of that. We can reload four, then, then we can put another one in. But uh, if we do not rack it first, we only got four shots. Because we'll do one, two, three, four, rack. And then if we don't put another one in, we only got four shots. So. Just, uh. Is that on three? I'll take that three hits there. Oh, hey there, buddy. I'm sorry, apparently my first shot just didn't want to hit him. Look at this. All right. Hmm. It would be nice if, um, when I took the baseball bat off my back, if it swapped it with the shotgun, right? Put, like, the shotgun on my back so I can just kind of swap them back and forth. Like, the baseball bat goes onto my, my back here. That'd be cool. All right, let's clear this parking garage once again. Hmm, there's not a huge horde in here. That's a surprise. Okay, well. Oh, come on. Look at the zombies and their goddamn movement. Do a quick turn, make sure I'm not getting snuck up behind. The green highlight really helps out, because now I'm not like, am I in range? Which is kind of hard to tell sometimes when you're doing an isometric, you know. Be careful of that zombie up there. If we can clear this little area, this uh, parking garage, that'd be nice. Okay. Oh, we got another guy here. Hello there, Sonny. Alright, we are a little exhausted. I'm gonna just 
creep my way over here. And just clutter and litter, all right. Surprisingly, there's no cars in here at all. I'm gonna just run into this corner so I can get a, a nice view of everything. So we're gonna sit down and rest for a couple hours. Or, I don't know. Yeah, let's wait until uh, 1500. Or 6, 1700? What the hell it is? Ah, fuck, we're sleepy now? Shit, alright. Well, shit happens. Oh, let's pull back for now. We'll see if we can get into one of the uh, nearby apartments, sleep it off, and we'll continue our zombie hunting spree. Maybe even be able to recover our body that we, uh, had over there. Hmm. If sneaking increased, that means there's a zombie nearby. Go ahead and sleep in here for now, though. Whew, all right. Making progress. You should probably find something to eat quick. Although I do not like that it's night time now. Now it's in the zombies' favor. Mm. Okay, found some chocolate. Let's eat that. Wow, just that little bit of chocolate. That's 0 0.2 pounds or kilos or whatever the hell it is. Makes me overweight, huh? Crazy. Light footage should be getting leveled up here soon. Hmm. I really don't want to fight during the night. But we have some zombies up there we can clear out while it's still relatively bright out. Also, the huge horde that was over here. Do you think we can find them? Or have they wandered off too far now? I want to ignore that one zombie for a second. So, oh, hold on. Oh, hey, where'd all you come from? something. Yep. Handled. Mm, I don't know where that horde that was like along that area went, unless that was the one that I held. No, maybe they just went down further along that road. shotgun and we're gonna head out the other side of the trailer park trailer park the uh this place because the last time we went to the other side i did see a big horde over here we'll see if they're still there and if they are we can spin their herd i did see those guys don't worry Oh, yep. Exactly why I wanted to do that. Oh. Oh, 
Oh. Let's take them out too. Kind of encroaching on my territory. I don't like that. Got enough shots in there. Oh, the upper upper left, I can see my ammo come out. Who didn't know that? Hmm. Let's get backing up this road while we can. Although once we get too close to that corner, I'm uh, afraid that something's gonna come out and knob on us a little bit. Like those guys. Let's head back this way. Why are you panicking, Anakin? Come on. Hey, <laughs> got him. Can't the one in front here? Okay. Baseball bat time. Oh, hey, that guy came out of kind of nowhere. Right, let's check our surroundings before we start engaging with these guys in melee. Every time we engage in a melee, we've ended up getting our ship pushed in by the zombies. This guy. And then this guy up here. He wants a piece of me now. Maybe that's about to break. How much more durability we've got on it. Or should give me like a physical number and not just that. Alright, let's re-equip the shotgun. We're locked and loaded, ready to go. get light-footed again. Please, come on. It's so close to leveling up. I can taste it. <sighs> Maybe I should consider making, like, a noise maker or something. Maybe that would help lure the zombies out of the, uh, Depths. I'm gonna go up here, turn, and fire. See those zombies up top there? Jerks. couple of zombies there. Uh, I, I, again, I do not like how dark this place is. I'm going to run back out. Where it's a little bit lighter at. Hey, where did those zombies go? The ones that were on the roof. There's two. That was a third one. Yeah, oh, come on. There you go. There we go. Is that, is that guy wearing like a, one of those dog cones? Like the like, doctor and stuff? Okay. Mm -mm, I need you back, please. Okay. We have, looks like, four spare rounds. Other than the stuff that's inside of our uh, shotgun now. Yep. 
the last round in, dude. There we go. I think? I don't know. So a little bit surely. Do I want to waste all those two zombies? Nah. If I do that one, I can just bludgeon their face again. How are we looking on long and short blunts? Oh, that was just a cowboy hat. Never mind. That's going to break in like very, very quick time. Can't tell if anything's fucking moving or not. It's like black on black almost. Let's get to the other side of the uh, area so we're closer to home. Okay. But with as many zombies as we've lured and killed around this building, it's got to be dang near, like, clear, right? I'm going to uh, take out my bat, my new bat. And we're going to attempt something probably risky here. None of these bodies are mine, right? I don't think they are. Okay. So, Rick and Dark. I should bring a generator here and just power it up so I can see, like, stuff. Look, I can barely see the floor and this body of mine here. I hear something. Let's get this vest on, this water. Give, give, give me these boots. Matches. Beta blockers, painkillers. Give me all this. I'm getting out now, and then we can come back again once I unload this stuff. I'm going to actually run, because we are definitely overweight, and that means if we get into combat, we're going to get a little bit fucked. Uh, if I had a backpack, it'd be a little better, but I don't. What? No. Just cigarettes, please. Keep an eye on our health, make sure I don't fuck up or something. I'm getting more exhausted because I'm carrying so much. Hold on, where's the shotgun? Um, attach my back. Does that help at all? No, not. Well, you gotta try sometimes. We're getting way too exhausted here. I think next time we're going to bring uh, the duffel bag back with us. Should, wait, should I? Because my next guy actually has a bag on him. It would be a waste if I bring a bag myself. Uh, the heart stopped moving. Am I, am I okay now or something? Climb chances. Oh, fuck. I have like a total of like a negative 50 like climb chance now, but uh. Fine. Oh, now we're taking more damage. Okay, there we go. Little hearts. A little bastard now. I think the taxi key on this keychain is for that one. 
Alright, we're home, safe and sound. I can't really move at all, though. Let me get out into the hallway where it's easy to spot stuff, and I'll drop this firefighter gear, because it's, it's a lot heavier than everything else is. I don't think I'm in, like, physical dying pain now, but... I am exerting myself quite a bit. I'm going to keep this open just to be safe. We'll slowly walk our way up, then we'll be able to rest, recuperate and everything, and go back down and get the firefighter equipment. Grab some more shotgun shells, and then we'll head back up to uh, get the rest of our stuff, I think. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these metal bars into here along with the lead pipe. And then let's go over to here. We'll go down to the clothing section where I can put these boots. And I'm gonna grab these. We have a dart and a taxi key. Ooh, fancy. All right, um, baseball bats. Almost toast. I'll put it with your collection of others. I didn't put the keys on the proper key ring. There we go. I just put them on my inventory. All right. Um. I guess I should hold on to the beta blockers for now. Let's go ahead and take a smoke break. So. Uh, all right, how much water do we got? We got a lot of water. We do. I don't think I need these painkillers for right now. Um, honestly, the beta blockers, I'll put them away too, just because they're going to slow me down a little bit. And then, let's eat some cereal. We're up to 218 zombie kills. We're almost halfway to where we can start getting desensitized. All right. go we got our water and then where is the stuff here I'm gonna store these cigarettes into there since I have extra can't put the matches away so I'll just store them there all right next one let's uh sleep <clears throat> I I said let's sleep okay it's thinking it's thinking hold on there we go. Ah, get rid of all that exhaustion holding you back. We'll wake up nice and early in the morning. I'll go over to my found journal. I'll transcribe what we've learned, which is a lot of stuff, actually. Carpentry and all the uh, reloading, aiming, that good stuff. All right. Before I forget about it, let's go grab the... Uh, firefighting gear bring it up here it'll be good in case we die and then we have a, a character who just needs some gear kind of getting that stuff set up for him god look how much it fucking weighs that weighs four the pants weigh four and the helmet weighs one Also, you might be wondering why I'm not replanting the cabbages right away. Well, the tomatoes and stuff haven't grown, and we uh, we have plenty of food right now, so it's not a big deal to just hold off for now on doing that. At least I don't think so. All right. So let's equip our shotgun. And I'm going to put that down there. We can switch to our baseball bat as necessary. 
let's go ahead and grab some more shells. Let's grab one, two, three, four. All right, open them all. Let's not all of them. There we go. All right, reload. Okay, yeah. I'll go ahead and put one box back. There we go. Oh, we have more shells ready. Oh, yeah, brother. Okay. <clears throat> Before we go out, let's eat. Always good to do so before you head out. We'll just have some chocolate. We'll improve our mood a little bit. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right. Let's finally recover our lost body from quite literally a long time ago. Also, I think I can move this taxi right. Yep, let's move this thing. I'll move it next to the other one. We're getting a nice collection of cars. Are there any others down here that I could drive? Also, I should have left the key inside of it. Nope. Nope. And nope. Damn. The red one right there is really what I want to move. And I'd like to... Once we can drive that little red one, because the little red ones suck. They don't have much storage capacity. But once we can move them... I left the key in, did I? I forgot. I did. Jesus. It sucks not having keys when you need them, right? Alright, anyway. So I think the plan is once we get the little red one, I'm going to push those two cars that are in the middle of the road out of the road. Then we can hook up the trailer to the van and uh, go it that way. It looks like we got some zombies over there. Let's take care of them real quick. It'll help lighten our load. Hey, zombies. Ah, come on. There we go. Now let's re-equip the shotgun. So let's reload while I look around the park here quick. Okay. So far, so good. What does this do? I have a chance to catch a cold because I'm wet. Yeah, you'd like it if I caught a cold, wouldn't you? What exactly is so wet on me? Hmm. Okay. All right, before it gets to be night time and we lose our light here, I'm gonna sneak in through here. Look how, look how brighter it looks just because it's, it's daylight out now. I can actually see stuff. I didn't, I didn't die here before, right? No. Too many deaths in such a short amount of time. I've kind of forgotten what everything is. We had a fire axe here, too. Ah, yeah. I'll pick it up for now. Alright, so. Where did I die up here? I think I ran in through here. And, like, back this way? Was it? And then in through... Here. Is is this where I died? No. Another gun case though. 
There we go, big hiking bag. Let's put that on. That'll give us a little bit of a... Uh, bang power. Alcohol wipes can go in there too. There we go. All right. Where did I die? Was it the southern area? Not this northern part, but the southern one? The door has to have been open. I do not remember, like, specifically opening any doors. I don't think it was here because I wasn't able to get to the roof. Where did I die? I don't think my body rotted. It hasn't been that long. Is this a door? Maybe I managed to close the door behind me, but then got run in by other zombies. I should not have been using the shotgun right then. Well, if there's any zombies here, they know where I'm at now. Speaking of, there they are. halls here. Right. Did I maybe go up another floor? Is that what I did? Did I go up two floors by accident? Or did I go in through here? Let's check this level first, I guess. It was here, wasn't it? Because I had tried to get out by jumping over this railing. And I found out I couldn't. And so I tried to go in through here. And then I died right here. Yes. Here is where I died. I'm going to place this big hiking bag there so I can actually loot it better. Double holster. Where that? Grab the keys. mask on perfect we got a battle rifle on us okay take that right weren't we trying to use that and then we like ended up dying with it hilariously enough i think i actually want to wear this bandolier right now our water bottles Place down that fanny pack here. There's all my Molotovs. Here are my cigarettes. My pen, which apparently I can't hold anymore. Okay. Give me the hiking bag. And the fanny pack too. All right. <clears throat> Y'all did see the uh, horde of zombies that was over here, right? Because I sure as hell did. Okay. Drop that keychain. Drop that keychain. Okay. You know, I would have missed the body if I did not know exactly where I was at here. Another lighter and a Molotov, huh? Quiet. 
Nope. Fuck. Come on. Ah. The, the jump scare noise made me click off screen. That could have been really bad. Oh, fuck. I'm taking damage. What? It didn't look like they bit me, though. It looks like they just, like, pushed me, didn't it? Fucking assholes. All right. Anyway. Let's get ourselves back home, drop off our stuff, and then we can uh, call it there. We finally managed to uh, do something. Oh, my God. That was intense, I gotta admit. We actually managed to get our stuff back because all the zombies jumped out the windows and collected around outside and wandered off, I guess. Well, we can head back to our original goal of attempting to take over the hospital. Just a shame we're in pain now. Well, no matter. Climb the rope sheet, sir. Ah, home sweet home. Now, do you want to mess with this guy? I got firefighter gear on, a policeman outfit, gas mask, carrying a shotgun and a baseball bat hanging from his backpack. Yeah. That'll screw you up. Fucking Jimothy Faraday. This guy that I actually typed out and came up with the name for. Okay. Home. Sweet. Home. Well, the first thing I'm going to do... Store a couple of water bottles. We're going to come into the uh, medicine cabinet here. I'm going to store the rest of the stuff that I don't need right now. Like those. Uh, and then in the backpack we have these alcohol wipes. The extra bandages. The beta blockers. We haven't been using tweezers much, so to be honest. You know what, actually? Hmm. We do have some spare suture needles. Maybe we, uh, level up our first aid a little bit before we do something else, huh? Yeah, it's that time again, folks. We're gonna destroy our feet. Hell yeah. The M14 magazine. Then, can the M14 fit in here? It can. Perfect. Anything in the main cavity? Not really. Yep. Over to the next area. I'm gonna go ahead and store my Molotovs in here, axe in here. And then let's store this Molotov in there. All right, over to the clothing section. We'll go ahead and store this stuff. We can store our military boots and our police bag, or police vest, that's there. Dirty and covered in blood, but there. And then, go ahead and store our baseball bat. Spare one, anyway. And then let's scroll down to our miscellaneous stuff, where we can store our lighter, our cigarettes, our red pen. Pull up, huh? Shit. Well, I guess I'll just store stuff in here then. And then 
let's unequip that fanny pack. More matches and cigarettes. Jesus. How many matches and cigarettes do I need? Also, the reason I'm taking off that other fanny pack is because uh, it's just going to add extra weight to stuff that I have. And I don't want that right now. We're not going to deal with it. All right. First things first. Before we end, we're going to get ourselves a little bit injured. I'm just going to grab all of those. Um... Let's see, is any of the stuff we have currently on us going to cause us any problem with that? No, okay. So, let's unequip our boots and our socks. Oh, it's a long sleeve t-shirt I unequipped, my bad. I'm gonna go ahead and wash everything too. Let's wash herself, first of all. Fill the water bottle. Toilet. Go ahead and wash her clothing, because we don't want to put dirty clothing on stuff, right? Luckily, I have a couple of sinks, because it's going to take us a while to, to wash everything here. Anything that's not washed yet? Uh, let's see. Wash military boots. Wash long socks. Especially those ones that are, uh, you know, in need of it. Let's see. Let's do the denim shirt. How much more we got? A decent amount. Uh, let's do our firefighter pants. Then do our fighter fighter jacket. Big hiking bag. Let's do the firefighter helmet too, why not? Okay. Let's eat something too. We're getting a little hungry. How about some canned vegetable soup? I I do wonder. Can I put this in here and then turn this on? And will it cook? No. I was just wondering if maybe you could actually cook canned food, but I guess you can't. All right. Before we cut ourselves, let's go ahead and take a smoke. And I'm going to go ahead and throw the tin can there, I guess. Also, maybe I should, uh, before we go out, which one's a dryer? That's the dryer. Throw our, uh, our wet stuff in here. else seems to be just fine. All right, turn it on. All right. We'll come back out there once we need to. Is my first aid? It is not. We have to read the book first. Well, shoot. We just need first aid two. Didn't want to equip it. I'm going to get close to the bed. And we'll sleep afterwards. Sit on ground. There we go. All right. We got our clothes drying. We got our book reading. Once we get this book finished, we can go ahead and step in some glass shards to help us uh, get our first aid up. Because we're going to keep tweezing them out of our feet. Bass <sighs> are coming along. But not as good. Maybe they're about the same as what we had on our first playthrough when we decided to stop and go to Louisville. But 
Our aiming and reloading is definitely better. Boom, done, all right. I'll go ahead and just sleep so we can pass the time. Okay, now we're hungry, so we need to eat quick. Before that, let me just do that. Let's go ahead and transcribe stuff into the journal just in case we somehow mess this up and die. All right. I got the disinfectant. I got the suture needle. I got the tweezers to pluck the glass shards out. Those to sew up my feet. I got the bandages. I wish I had some sterilized bandages, but they're there. All right, let's go grab our... Uh, Clothing out of the dryer. Go ahead and wear all this. And then the other stuff I'm just going to put into my inventory. There we go. Alright, I guess we should eat before breakfast too, huh? Da -da 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 -da. Or eat before we fuck up our feet, <laughs> that is. That didn't do much. Um, how about an orange soda? Again, didn't do much. How about that? Let's let's eat some peanut butter. We good? We're good. All right. Go ahead and replace these bandages as well while we disinfect them. Then we can go ahead and clean these bandages. All right. That'll also help our first aid experience go up. I wish I could have both of those going on there. All right. Ready? Go. We just kind of go through this until we level our stuff up. That's one. The next one will take a little bit longer because we were already close four, so. This is why I left this one thing of glass here, by the way. In case you were wondering why I didn't pick up this glass before, this is why. Shame it takes so long to do. <clears throat> Come on, train that. First aid. Oops. Let's click there. There we go. So a little bit surely we're getting there. There we go. Alright, let's uh, get off the glass shards, remove the glass shards again, go ahead and suture them, disinfect them, and then bandage them up. There we go. And then after we did all that, we earned... 57.5 of that, and then we're going to go ahead and equip our long socks and our military boots so that we can get them healed up. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to put this stuff back in the closet. The uh, bandages, cologne, suture needle and tweezers. Perfect. All right, I'm going to take four bandages, however, because I'm going to be needing to patch myself up and replace the bandages as it goes. I'll have a cigarette after that trying experience. My God. Okay. Perfect. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's how the next couple of days for Jimothy Faraday is going to go. 
all right? While you're not watching, I am going to be exercising because we're getting a little chonky here. You can see we're getting overweight, which is uh, not good. We'll get winded faster. So we're going to do some burpees. And I'm going to take the time to do them and then lose some weight. Spend the day basically just exercising and all that. Uh, and then when we come back, I'll have these gone. We'll hopefully have it be a little bit lighter and uh, ready to go take on the hospital again. So, till then, bye for now.